in this video we are going to create this cool animations and here you can see our camera is always following the path and this is just an idea you can copy my idea and create your own animations i will give you all assets free and this project file free you can download it i will leave the link in the description below so first download these assets and practice along with me so let's create this so let's get started first of all download all of these pictures this is a background and these are other pictures which we will use in our project so i will leave the link in the description below and follow along with me so let's get started so let's create a new composition new compositions and here i will select this preset social media landscape hd 90 20 1080 30 fps and select 30 seconds duration hit ok you can press alt forward slash to fit this comp now let's create our background this is our background picture drag and drop inside this comp let's press t for opacity and set the opacity 30 percent it's good again create one more composition let's go to composition and here i will call it image box and set the width and height 1080 by 1080 set the frame rate 30 and duration 30 seconds long hit ok select any kind of images from here and drag and drop inside this image box comp again press s and scale it down like so and adjust the position okay it's looking great so now duplicate this image box four time more you can press ctrl d one two three four now we have five comps of image boxes now click image box 2 and open it and delete this one and drag and drop inside this comp and press s and scale it up and adjust its position again open the image box 3 double click and delete this image from here and select the next image and drag and drop inside here you can adjust its scale like so by pressing s next open the composition image 4 and here i will also change this image from here and the next image is this one press s for scale and scale it up a little bit and again open the last image comp and here i will also change this one select the last image and drag and drop inside this comp and scale it up now let's go to our comp 1 this is our main comp I will also change its name by pressing click on these three lines and go up here you can see composition settings and I will call it main this is our main comp so now first of all I will create a shape right click anywhere and go to new and select the shape layers let's go inside contents and here you will see add button click add button from here I will select this polystar but I don't need this polystar let's go inside polystar and from here I will select polygon because we need five sides and here you can see these are points you can increase or decrease the points to make it triangle square like so but I will keep it default by right click and click reset and again go to add button and here you can see stroke now i will add some stroke and here is the stroke colors set the stroke color white by clicking on this button select the stroke color white and and set the stroke size 10 pixels go inside transform options and here you will see this scale option and scale it up like so again change the stroke value from here 5 so now it's looking great you can press ctrl alt home to set this anchor point in the middle of this polygon and also press ctrl home to set this polygon in the middle of this comp but this is not a good idea to increase its size and i will set it default okay i will increase the outer radius from here and set the outer radius around 400 is good again set the stroke value round 10 10 is good okay one thing more important click on this polystar path right click and convert it to bezier path now you can see if i select this selection tool and here you can see and now we can animate our paths easily close it up and change this layer into 3d you can also click on this button okay and you can also press f4 and select this q button from here to make it 3d if you don't see this cube icon you can press f4 to show and hide this cube icon again go inside over here and select this path and press ctrl c and copy this path option now i am going to create our camera let's go to new and camera and here i will select this camera 50 mm one node camera again right click and let's go to and here select the null object and convert it 3d so first of all press p for position value 
press ctrl v and paste its value over here and here you can see these keyframes our null is following the path and here you can see our null is following the path and convert this null layer into 3d this is important thing now rounds money 10 by holding alt money left click and drag these keyframes and put it over here let's play again so now you can see our null is following the path but we need our camera follow to the path to link our camera it's very simple select this camera and here you can see this pick wave simply select this pick wave and drag and drop on our null and here you can see the null is still there not moving our camera only just this path moving through this null and here you can see our null is not moving along the path just path is moving through this null okay this is the effect which we want exactly so now here you can see this null is not in the middle of this comb our camera and if i will go into perspective custom view and here you can see this camera is not in the center so select this camera press p and set the x value 0 and again select the y value 0 so now our camera perfectly centered in the comp let's go back default and here you can see our camera is centered and this is the effect which we exactly want our null is still there only this path is moving along this null okay our camera is following the path okay if you want to create a parallax effect with the backgrounds it's very simple i will also make this background layer 3d just click over here okay and press p and set position value 1000 and uh, if i go inside custom view and here you can see this is our camera this is parallax effect okay now it's time to animate our this path let's go inside our shape layer and here is the content option and select this add button and from here select the trim path with the help of trim path you can animate your path it's very easy and here you can see null press u to reveal its keyframes bring your cti at the beginning very beginning and let's go inside this trim path and here is the end value if you will decrease the end value you can see this path is finished and decrease the value of at this point as you can see this polygon has five sides so therefore i will divide 100 percent with fives so now we have the 20 values at every point place your playhead at the next keyframe and add the value round 20 at the beginning set the value zero and the, at the next keyframe set the value 20 and again next keyframes set the value 40 and as fourth keyframes set the value 60 and so on five keyframes set the value 80 and this is our last keyframes and here set the keyframes 100 let's see what we have created let's play and this is the effect which we want exactly it's looking very cool okay select these keyframes and right click go inside keyframe interpolation and here i will change this rowing settings into log to time hit okay okay by holding control click any of these keyframes to make it linear now select the bottom keyframes all of these and press f9 to make it easy is uh, let's go to graph editors and from here here you can see i have this kind of graph editor select all of these keyframes and if you are not looking this kind of graphs it's very simple click on this point and here you can see i have selected added speed graph you have also selected added speed graph click on this option fit selection to view okay and make it little bit closer like so and again make it little bit closer and set the handles like this okay let's go back again select all of these keyframes press f9 for easy ease and again right click any of these keyframes like so keyframe velocity handle influence value speed value 65 65 and now we have this kind of animation so it's looking very very cool and very very interesting so now i will position our images along this every corners man first i will select this image box one and drag and drop over here and make it 3d by clicking on this box okay press ctrl alt home and you need also press money ctrl home to make it centered okay and scale down press s and set the value around 30 percent so now play your playhead at the next keyframe 
okay like so and again place your next image box to over here like so and again make it 3d by clicking on this box don't forget to make it centered and center this anchor point by pressing ctrl alt home and press ctrl home and press s for scale value and set the scale value around 30 percent is good again press k to move your playhead one keyframe forward so next again i will do the same here select the image 3 and put it over here and set it 3d and press ctrl alt home and ctrl home press s for scale scale value around 30 and again press k to move your playhead one keyframes forward if you want to move your playhead one keyframes backward you need to press j key like so okay and here i will do the same select the next one this is our four clip and set it 3d control home to centered and press s and decrease its value around 30 percent again press k move your playhead one keyframes forward and again here select the next image five and don't forget to make it 3d and press control home to center it. and don't forget to center this image again press s and send and set the its scale value around 30 percent so let's play and watch okay and here you can see our image is always in the center of this comb and play your playhead at the end little bit forward and press n key to decrease your comb durations like so but i want many only show you one image at the same time so for this let's go to camera properties press p and at the very beginning okay and zoom it out like so change the z value like so okay and scale it up and now you can see but it's very large select all of these keyframes and press s and set the scale value around 15 15 is good okay so now let's play and see and this is the effect which we are looking it's looking very well so what i will do next so here i will type some text just select this text tool and click over here and type books and increase its size like so don't forget to set it 3d after making it 3d it will disappear from your comp now simply press ctrl home to set this in the middle of this comp okay now set the z value zero now you can see this text in front of you select this selection tool and move it left side like so and decrease its size little bit and place it over here and place it over here like so and again decrease its size and again press ctrl d and duplicate this layer and move it left side and here i will type my books so now press ctrl a and select all of these layers and press u key to reveal its keyframes at the very beginning and simply select all of these keyframes and move it forward like so place your playhead around here and add the camera position keyframes select this camera press p and click on position values and add the keyframes so now let's go at the beginning and zoom it like so and change the z value like so zoom it forward like so okay and now press k to go next keyframes by pressing ctrl shift and left arrow you can move backward 15 frames like so okay around here and then select all of these keyframes and place it right here because at the end of this animation the next animation will be start so it looks more cool at the end of this keyframes and again add camera position value and go forward around one seconds zoom it backward like so and also change the y value to move it upside and also change this z value now select the first two keyframes press f9 for easy let's go to crops and set this curve like so again let's go back and select this last two keyframes and press f9 and then right click and then right click and keyframe velocity set the handle speed value 65 65 this is more cool animations what it will do start fast and slow animation so now let's play and watch and i will leave the links in the description below all of these assets and also this project file you can download it and practice so always keep creating